What you gonna do today, Brixie? <laughs> eat, a, eat a DJ, eat some oranges, check in on my hat. This is a reshoot, so don't feel like this is like the first time. Oh, I didn't show it this time. Dang. I took this hat out of the dishwasher just barely and it uh, was steaming and Tiff was like, oh man, you should have recorded that. It smells like my cereal bowl. Tiff washed it with Cascade. Easy. Let it dry. I don't need hair gel soaking into that thing. Well, you want it to form your head, right? I don't know. And then you let it dry. Oh, okay. You don't know baseball. Oh. Hats. She knows baseball. She actually played all four years. High school baseball. I lettered. She lettered. Letterman's jacket. She lets me wear it sometimes. She just had a visitor. You're really comfy. I don't want to move you or anything. But I love you. Hearts. Yeah, she had a visitor, huh? Dude, the least you could do is blow her a kiss. Ah, <laughs> Zooks. <laughs> How's that orange treating you? Show me that orange. <laughs> That's a rich kind of looks like your nipples popping out. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so she had a visitor. Her auntie came in. Her auntie. Her what? Great auntie? Her grandma's sister? Anywho, yeah, so that's what we have done so far. Or auntie, it's not, it doesn't have to be complicated. Okay, auntie, jeez. Make me feel like an idiot. What are we going to do though? So the baby's crying, you'll hear in the background, but look what this is happening. Just gonna... I don't know, I'm trying to debate if I want to walk to play basketball or drive. It's seriously just like around the block. But look at the shirt I'm wearing. Look closely. It's supposed to be navy blue. It's more like heather gray with like a blue undershirt. <laughs> Tiff wants she has new like uh, wipes that we have for the baby and the wash and she forgot that new things like towels will like spread lint everywhere. As a result. So I put in this new uh, uh, air fresher in here, peachy peach. So the whole car smells like a peach. Not just a peach, like a real full on, full blown peachy peach. Tiff said something about Cafe Rio and that gets my engine going, so that's something to play for. <clears throat> Not funny, like uh, maybe like five years ago, like playing for something was like, you know, probably a girl or something, but as you get older, especially like me. I get super charged up over a Cafe Rio. I'm like, yeah, Cafe If she had said in and out, I would have been like, girl, we gotta go now. <laughs> There's a sweet blazing sunset over there, but just to mix it up a bit, I'm gonna hold back on these time lapses, just so like, you appreciate them when they do happen, I guess. Um, try not to kill anyone. Whoa, we're gonna die. We're dead, we're gone, see ya. Okay, we made it. But yeah, check out that sunset. Dang, missed out on opportunity. Oh well. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Now the hope is that they really are playing basketball and that it wasn't just a joke, but the guy texted me and said, hey, are you gonna play basketball tonight? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'd be down. But it looks like they're playing right now. And I never know whether to bring my basketball or not because the times I don't bring it is like when we're left with like the ball that's left in the gym and it's got like tons of ridges and like the leather's actually gone. Like it's not even real leather, like it's, what do you call it? Not authentic? Synthetic? Synthetic leather. Anyway, the one I brought, no one really likes to play with because it's seen its time. You can't even buy these basketballs anymore online. Like definitely not in the store, but it's an old TF-1000. I saw one on eBay and they were selling it for 400 bucks and it was used. So that's how you know they get they did it right, Spalding. And they stopped making them. Not sure why the heck they did that. Again, opportunity missed. Ooh. Um. 
Push it, push it, push it, push it. Spoiler, it's a turnover. <laughs> so I just got done playing ball, obviously, but uh, super sweaty. Small numbers here tonight. But it's not about the numbers, it's about how much you sweat off. I guess it is about the numbers. Calories. Hopefully I burned like 500 or 6. Yeah, but my arms are all sweaty. See my legs. They're all sweaty too. Oh. Touchdown. So I had a friend of mine post about like not wanting to run. And me, myself, like I didn't really want to go play basketball. Um, but once you're done, you feel so good. Um, like I don't feel like I could totally like, meet the president or like shake hands with like a huge leader. <laughs> like not that good or, or I don't feel like I just had a birthday cake or something. But you feel good that you actually did something with your life. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the idea. So if you're trying to run or like better yourself, not eating like tons of Hot Pockets or tons of Pop-Tarts, I mean, go for it. Health is like super important and we all know that. Like we know that you only have one body. Um, I need to do better at like making sure I uh, eat less sodium after doing like my blood pressure the other night. The systolic was like 129. I'd like to be below 120. If you want to run, like a little bit more. I mean, you don't have to go out and do like a send seven minute, 50 second mile. Like you can just go out and just like jog, you know, even just like jog around the block or even just jog to one quarter of the block or even just go walk. Seriously, it's, it's not that much. It just takes little small steps. Next thing you know, after a couple of weeks of walking, well, guess what? You've probably already started jogging. And it goes again, after jogging, you start running. Next thing you know, you're walking, running more than you probably ever thought. After I ended that segment, I literally just reached down and grabbed a Swedish fish. <laughs> I can't be doing that. It's just loud, ah. The best time to come to Cafe Rio is when they're about to close. You get more meat, more rice, more everything. And they cut us like fresh limes. And they're like, what? We don't have limes? Let's cut some for you. No worries. Oh, so we got here and we realized we didn't have any money. And we're like, shoot. So he looked through his bag and he found a gift card. I was like, there's no way there's money on that. But he calls the number on it and there's $50. I don't know where he got that gift card, but thank you whoever gave it to us. <laughs> I have little stashes throughout the apartment. I just forget about and... I love those stashes. <laughs> All out sprint. I gotta get the key out. <laughs> Where's the key? Do you have the key? No. Jeez, have me open it. Yeah. Millennials. <laughs> that was good. That was a good timing. Usually you take forever. That time, I 